How's it going, Irving High? I'm Tark Whitmore, and she's Chalet. Today is Wednesday, October 1st, and it is also a very someone special birthday. Shout out to Selena Biasi. <laughs> <laughs> and Happy birthday, Selena. In celebration of your birthday, how about a nice SAT word of the day? Yay. Today's <laughs> word of the day is coalition, an alliance or for combined action, especially a temporary alliance of political parties forming a government or states. Let's Thanks. start our own government, Tart. Why not? I'm down. Remember, students, the senior class will be selling Subway sandwiches today in the cafeteria foyer and every Wednesday after. And counselors will be here uh, in the cafeteria on Wednesdays to talk about careers, graduations, and lots more. Let's go ahead and visit. Uh, remember, students, the fall production of Black Coffee is coming up. Um, it's a murder mystery play by Agatha Christie. Uh, showings will be October 9th, 10th, and 11th at 7 p.m. in the IHS Auditorium. Students' tickets will be $5 and adults will be $7. Um, homecoming tickets will be sold at all three lunches for $30 apiece. Get them while they're hot. Hot, hot, hot. Also, nominations for this homecoming court will be held this Friday. The parade is on the 16th at 3. In more homecoming news, on October 16th, we will be having our HOKO Parade. It'll be at 3 o'clock along with senior recognition, followed by the burning of the eye after the JV football game. And then on October 17th, we will have our varsity homecoming football game against R.L. Turner with the queen being crowned at halftime. On that following Saturday, we will be, will be the homecoming dance where the king will be crowned. In other news, students, if you're going to homecoming, you got to have a date, right? Some students decided to propose to their dates at the uh, at last football game against uh, Dallas Skyline. We got a nice little video for you to show what happened. Roll the clip. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to ask her to homecoming. Oh, no, 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 no. Awesome stuff, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> late breaking news. I think we have some late breaking news, what our producer's trying to tell us. Thank you. Early dismissal tomorrow at 1230. Classes meeting are 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. So 845 be in your 5th period class tomorrow. And then cheerleaders will be holding tryouts for the competition squad next week, October 6th through 9th. Please see Miss Allen in room 473 or one of the cheer captains, Isela, Destiny, if you're interested. More breaking news. Uh, this Thursday, October 7th from 1230 to 2, the Kona Ice Snow Truck will be set up in the student parking lot over by the gym. They'll be selling snow cones for Anywhere to, from 2 to $5, depending on what size you want. You get to choose your flavors. It's delicious. Didn't you mean October 2nd? Yeah, definitely October 2nd. And it's a fundraiser for a debate, so be there or be square. Well, Shalai, I think that concludes our news for today. I've been Tark Whitmore. And I've been Shalai. Now for your Tiger Sports update with APZ and Jay Gold. It's a bar! It's Good afternoon, Tigers. I'm Jordan. And I'm Austin. This is your Tiger Midday Sports Report for today. Volleyball had an away game yesterday at WT White. Our JV girls won in two games, and our varsity girls won in four. That means our varsity team is 5-0 and in district. 5-0. and uh, Announcement for the girls' basketball team. There will be open gym on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Friday mornings starting Tuesday, at 735. So... Come out. Shoot some hoops. Hoops. Late breaking news. We, we have some uh, tennis.
tennis news here. Mm. So uh, the varsity tennis team, they lost a tough match, uh, uh, matches against Nimitz, but some winning results were in boys doubles, Carlos Alamon and Brandon Kanban Souk nuked Nimitz 8-4. to four. Nuked him. In uh, boys singles, Carlos Alamon nuked Nimitz in an exciting tie-break match, 3-6, 6-3, to six, six to three, and 10-5. to five. Darius Will Whitfield nuked Nimitz six to three and six to one. And uh, Brandon Kanban Souk nuked Nimitz six to three and seven to six. Tony Nguyen nuked Nimitz seven to five and six to two. Rodrigo Salvador also nuked Nimitz six to three and six to four. And uh, the tennis team takes on Sunset next Tuesday here on the course. So come out and support. All right, JV and freshmen have a game tomorrow against Mac. So go out support them. All right. Oh, it's football. That's what our producer told us to tell you. Sorry. Um, our freshmen play away, so like I said, go out and support our JV at our home field. Yeah. Yes. And uh, as you know, varsity plays on Friday against Mac. We will be the visitors, so sit on the visitor side. Uh, let's get it packed so we can uh, come out and get this win. This week's theme, of course, is Smack Mac. Wear red feathers on Friday. Cheerleaders will be selling feathers at all three lunches every day this week. Well, I've been Jordan. And I've been Austin. Keep it classy, everybody.